Hey everybody, uh, just wanted to do a quick explanation as to how to deal with uh, tissue cultured plants. Um, got some bundles of it here. Anyway, I did get this at your local like PetSmart. They're not telling me to say this. I, this is just where I got it because everything's frozen here in Minnesota. So I need to go to big chain stores instead of ordering plants like I normally do. Anyway, this can be good. This is called Repens. This can be good for carpeting, and when you open it, you're going to find a bunch of this gel substance all over it. Uh, I have treated water here, and I just simply started pulling it off the roots. It's, uh, it's called auger. It's not bad for your plants. If there's still some on there, that's fine. And uh, so what I do before I'm going to submerge this is you have bundles of it like this, and you can see... There's roots, and you can actually even, I mean, this one was all connected. I've already done most of the separating, but this one's a little bit larger. I'm going to show you what to do here. You see several roots. There's actually, you can get several plants out of even something this small. And if you can't seem to separate it, you'll see here at the bottom, you can simply just do a snip right down the center here. A lot of this is going to melt back anyway, but see how I just, I made one big bush and a two. Both have uh, roots at the bottom, and then I'll take my scissors here and just snip the tips of the roots. This is going to kind of help jump start it into its new environment because it's been growing in a gel for, you know, who knows how long. Whenever you're picking these out, make sure you look at them first and that there's a lot of healthy leaves and that the roots don't look like they're rotting because sometimes you can go there and it'll be that way. But almost every piece I found, and look, I got dozens. You know, this was a $10 plant. It'll grow about maybe five centimeters tall. So a good carpeting plant. Here's a good piece right here. Uh, and then with um, my tweezers, you know, I'll simply take it like this and uh, stick it down in the dirt. I do use fluval stratum, but anyway, uh, that's how you clean up uh, tissue cultured plants, you know, and have many as opposed to what some people think they just have one plant. You do not. You can cut these apart, any of these packages, that, and they come in a, you know, plastic like this is going to have a bunch of auger in it and one long plant that goes all the way across. And you're gonna think, oh, I'll just pull the whole thing out and just plant it like that. No, you need to, I mean, leaving the auger on there is okay, but if you want a bunch of plants out of one and get your money's worth, you're going to wanna separate it as much as possible. Look at the bottoms, look at where the roots are. I've already done a bunch, you know, there's some that are slightly larger and then you know like one tiny solo dude like this that a plant and will do just fine some of it will melt back some of it won't or you can just plant it and trim all the tips anyway again uh i just kind of wanted to show everyone the cleanup process and you know just have a cup of treated water which i put some conditioner in there it sat for most of the day and i clean the roots off in there and everything has been treated as delicately and, you know, sterilized with clean, fresh, dechlorinated water. Um, and I'm using gloves, obviously. And then when I plant it, I'll just be sticking it in the areas where I'd like it to bush out. You put it about an inch apart. These will throw out runners and eventually it'll just start growing over, you know, the whole bottom of your tank if you'd like. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Again, that's how to deal with tissue cultured plants that are in the gel auger and repens is the choice and I will be uh, planting it now and uh, we'll see what it looks like when I'm done. Thanks.